first off my nails look a little busted but I have to redo them fresh for tomorrow so I'm like might as well not do them really nice today so I did place some orders let me see I don't know what's like freebies and what's not tbh but here we are so let's see okay so I think what this is I think I ordered this one I'm not even sure so let's go through simply gilded stuff first so these were the freebies so there's these foiled bear seals a foiled bow seal the super cute little journaling, journaling cards I think I might cut down and put in my pocket I've been like obsessed with my pocket I've been using it every single day for like a month maybe even plus which is wild for like other planners for me and then this really cute sampler freebie with a checklist a full box and then some icons so I did pick up some of the foiled bow seals I'm probably going to put these with like my December daily stuff these are on are they on clear yeah oh that's kind of cool so they are on clear which is super nice um these are on white so I did get the owls I'm pretty sure I bought those I don't think that they were a freebie oh also this washi was freebie but we'll get into that but um these are the bow seals i think i bought them in a bundle super cute and again on clear love these the confetti dots and then this was also a freebie which is kind of like a dark navy teal color which is really pretty in the stardust pattern and then i also got these which was a bundle and i don't remember if this was called like the ornaments or something i honestly don't know but they're just like the inverted bow so it's foil with like white bows and again i thought this would be really good for december daily i'm not going to open it because i'm just going to throw the whole thing in the bin so they have the larger the um 10 millimeter which i don't really use these ones so i might give them to bennett and then the five millimeter and then also these skinnies which are super cute and then i also did pick up this bundle i didn't realize so after i ordered that i could have just purchased the large because that's the one i will likely use but i mentioned in my christmas organization my christmas sticker organization that i wanted to move my stickers which is this binder here which looks so unfestive compared to this one. So this is silver, which I'll definitely use this in the future, right? This one is, first of all, gold. Like, a really pretty, like, light gold. And then the inside has the pink candy cane stripe. So I'm going to move everything from here into here. And I am so excited because this is, like, such a Christmas vibe. It also did, um, the bundle came with the small one. And then also the really cute little bow charm, which I'm going to probably use as decorations let's be real so cute and then i do have an order in from sadie stickers and this was a um i don't know i think it's like two dollar tuesday are they two dollars i don't remember um so i did pick up some releases from that so let me go ahead and open this um i think she threw in extras because i know i didn't order these so Thank you so much, Alicia. It's so cute. So, the actually, I don't remember what I ordered. I think I ordered maybe... I want to say these is what I ordered. And I think she threw in all of these. So, super cute. But I'll go through what I ordered first. So, I placed a small order because I wanted to pick up some things for my New Year's spread. And for my New Year's spread, I am likely using Sparkly Hollow. But I might mix in some hollow because I really love this happy new year bottom washi a lot of the items were this like clock which is super cute if I was, maybe if i was doing something more like a gatsby but for my new year spread in particular i think that this happy new year would be super cute i wish that she would have like sparkly hollow more often because i think her stuff and her foil is like impeccable and then i did order these i believe in all three foils because i thought that not only would these obviously look cute for new year's but i thought for birthdays and stuff this would also look really really fire so love these definitely a anytime staple and then I'm pretty sure that she threw all of these in. So thank you so much. I love stickers. So these are like little um, star clusters that are really pretty in um, gold, silver, and hollow. And then these are kind of like these celestial looking drips, which are super cute. Could definitely pull these into a lot of spreads. And then these are just really cute little banners, which could go in full boxes or just you know used as a banner so those are super cute and last but not least i have an order in from fox and pip y'all know i love fox and pip 
Amanda is so cute. So let's go ahead and open this. I don't know if my invoice is in here. No, okay, cool. So first of all, she wrote me a cute little note, which I'll probably save this. I just love her. She's so cute. And these are super cute sticky notes. I don't remember if she released these yet because I remember I saw them and I was like, I need to order those. So now I have one of those. I'm so excited. And then I ordered this. I was so excited when I saw it. Y'all know I love Schitt's Creek. So the Rosebud Motel little like keychain, keychain, which is really cute. So again, I probably can use this as decor, um, but it's adorable. Well, and I love it and I love Schitt's Creek so I had to get it so here are some sticky notes I think she threw these in as well because I don't remember these being on sale but they're so cute and I love sticky notes and hers are adorable and then I think this is everything that I picked up here are the little freebies so this is the first one here which is just a really cute little like Christmas sticker definitely will put this somewhere really really cute and then you have little freebie this is kind of like the normal size freebie and then oh, this is so cute this is her little business card adorable and then I did pick up a bunch of different sheets so I did pick up a lot of the minis that I, of stickers that I already have because I love the happy mini sizes I don't have like a happy planner or anything but I love the smaller sizes so a lot of these I already have the larger ones but definitely can use both sizes so this one is a school specific one um don't have any kids in school but it will definitely come in handy in the future we got play-doh outdoor play holiday stuff crayon boxes which these are an amazing size the little grill and then the two kidders in the bathtub which i thought were adorable and then these are like more like new releases so this is a tools one which is perfect for like any home improvement diy stuff like that putting together ikea furniture and then you have the rosebud motel little keychain and i will rewatch Shits creek in the future nick actually didn't watch it with me like while i was watching it um but i will probably in a couple of years rewatch Shits creek and i will use those for watching Shits creek then i got the jacuzzi time because i think eventually i want to get a hot tub maybe in like years like four or five years but like I'll have stickers for it and then the football love for like the once a year that we have the football stuff on like the Super Bowl and then the bow bucks so cute and then I did get the grandparents so there is the like dual one which is super cute and then the grandma one, which I thought was cute as well. So that is everything that I got from Fox and Pip. I will leave everybody that I mentioned linked down below as always. And I love these shops so much. And these shop owners are so sweet. And I just love them. So check them out. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to show you guys actually. Like, look at this box. And then I have another box of stuff over there to show you guys. So let's start off with, I think I have two orders from adorably amy designs or maybe not i don't know well, let me like organize this for a second because i got some like planner stuff some non-planner stuff yeah i don't know what to oh is that my last up here i might actually save this villainous box to go through like later because it's like christmas but, like when will this go up probably not for christmas so i'll wait on that i'll actually hold this one for later um, so I do have some sticker orders. Actually, it isn't a lot of them. So I have some sticker orders. The first one is from Adorably Amy Designs. I already took my invoice out. So this was, I believe, like a new release type situation. So this has a little freebie in it. And then I did get the Xmas bucket list. And I did, did I order those? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't think I did. I think those were thrown in. So I ordered the Tiny Text Xmas bucket list again in black. So it's the metallic black, the hollow, the sparkly hollow, which I think is like silver pixie dust or something like that. Silver and also I think it's like light gold maybe or regular gold. I think it's light gold. Um, but there's lots of stuff on here and I love these for again little things they are super cute and then these were in my order as well so youtube and cardio time maybe i ordered these honestly i don't remember who knows I, but maybe i did i don't know so there's those i love those so much then i have an order in from letters to apollo i love this envelope it is so pretty definitely be saving that um, and then this one I think was a $2 holla. So it's like the $2 Tuesday. And I think I got all of these. No, I didn't. Okay, so I got um, a PR freebie in black, which is perfect. 
And then I did pick up Festive AF in gold, silver, and hollow. I kind of debated, like, should I just get it in black? But I am always pretty Festive AF. And you can use that for, like, any, any festivities that you're festive about. Yeah. And then I did get this here because I love the Home for the Holidays quote. And the snowflakes can be perfect for, like, any snowy spread. And I got those in gold and silver. I'm trying to be a little bit more, like conscious about like how many things I'm buying in holidays because I feel like I just order too much so I feel like silver and gold easy peasy then I do have an order in from paper muse craft so it's a little freebie with different icons in gold which is super pretty you can barely even focus there you go so cute definitely will use those and then I did pick up some of her new releases which were all I believe Actually, they weren't. There were some holiday ones and then some kidder ones. So this one here is Christmas sweaters, and I just love her stickers so much. There is... Wait. These are so cute. Did I order all these? Possibly. So cute. Then there's this one here, which is like holding presents and trees. You have the ginger people, which is super cute. Elf the movie, which I don't think I have any elf stickers, so this is perfect snow fun it doesn't snow in texas but you know one day i'll take the kids somewhere where it snows so i got that in um i was gonna say silver and gold hair but uh blonde and brown hair so then the swing in playing outside i don't remember this one but this one's really cute the christmas morning which is perfect this is literally me bennett this year and i'm so excited for him for christmas this year and then also the bike riding and that was really cute then i also got a package in from ali at little miss ali prince and i just love her stuff so much she sent me this and i'm so excited i didn't even actually open this yet but i'm ready i just feel like her stuff's so cute um hold on, let me open the little note hmm She's so cute. Okay, so let me open these. I don't even know what it is. Okay. Oh, yes. This is so cute. It's an Ariana Grande coat, I believe. I'm pretty sure. It's so perfect. This I think I might put in my planner for next year. Unless she comes out with like some Disney quotes. Because I think I'm going to do a Disney theme. Um, but. Ooh, I just won't find it. A Disney theme, but. I don't know. I, I might use that one. So let me go ahead and open these. These are also beautifully packaged. Okay, let me open this. Oh, you are perfection. That's so cute. That reminds me of Viv. You deserve the world. Little journaling card. Her little business card. Um, let's see. Let's open this one. It all comes with that cute little ribbon. Ooh, this one's super cute. So this is like a really cute, looks like a Black Friday almost, like, you know, your shopping list. And I love that, like, you got scribble prints go up here. Super cute. And it is on that, like, velvet touch mat. I want it. I got it. It's so pretty. <gasps> love that. And then last but not least, there's this one here. Oh, thank Christmas. Ooh, there's two. <laughs> uh, it's a sticker. It's so cute. And then we also have this in hollow. Love that. So thank you, Allie. It is so cute. Everything's perfect. Definitely check her out. We actually do have a collab sheet in my shop. And if you order from her shop, she has like cute little 90 day freebies, which are adorable. Let's go into the non sticker stuff. We'll, we'll segue with like something that has stickers in it. So I talked about this shop before maybe actually in the same video i don't even know and it is ren and wilson and look how cute this card is okay so i went back i was watching my home you know as i do to uh get all the like shop names and make my links and i was like i'm just gonna go see if they have anything that i need and i saw these halloween sheets and i thought these were so stinking cute i bought one for kirsten i'm like should i give a tour probably should so I'm gonna give her one I'll put it in this cute little bag 
and then I'll keep the other one, but it's so cute. They're definitely big for like planner stickers, but I'm sure that's not their intention. I'll leave that on there for Kristen too. She'll love that. Um, that's not the intention. I don't think so, but I will use them for other things. And then whenever I was there, this is the reason why I found the shop. I'm going to see. Yeah. This is the reason I found this shop and it was this like Turbo Man, um, like print and I love Jingle All the Way. It's probably one of my top five favorite Christmas movies because it's like a nostalgic for me. Um, and I thought this would be really cute in like a playroom because it's like a toy, obviously. And I just like I'm obsessed with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. So I did, and that's where we're at. Then I did get this mug here, which is super cute. It says "Tis the season to be cozy," and it has the little Mickey ears. And I thought it was adorable. I'll leave the shop link down below. I honestly don't remember what the shop name is, but it's one of those like, is it like tin metal mugs? I don't know, but I thought it was really cute and figured it was worth a share. I also did get this that I thought was really cute, which would be a really good like gift idea. And they're little like customized with his name on it, <gasps> matching cards with like construction, like airplanes, cars and stuff. And Bennett loves that kind of stuff. So I thought this would be perfect to play matching with him. And I wanted to show you guys because I feel like this is such a good gift. I'm going to, I'm going to get like some personalized gifts for people for Christmas this year. Um, yeah. So I'll show you guys whenever things come in. And then this is from the Lost Bros and they make like Disney inspired stuff. And how stinking cute is this? I'm kind of like confused though because I feel like I bought shirts from them recently and they weren't like, like, you know, like whenever shirts are printed and it's like, fine when they're printed and you're like it's cute but then you get it and it's like maybe like screen printed or something I feel like the shirt that I bought from them recently unless maybe it was an old shirt was just like that like printed and not like screen printed if that makes any sense but this is so pretty so it says may all your wishes come true so it's supposed to be like the wishes fireworks show but like Christmas um I might have one of these for like a friend as well for Christmas so like you know who you are if you love fireworks and you cry and you love Disney and you love Christmas it's coming your way maybe she won't watch this but I think she will so super excited about that because I thought it was super cute as like a Christmas Disney shirt that's kind of like low-key and then last but certainly not least I do have a big box um from Felicity Jane and I've never ordered from them before but I really 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 want to do December December daily this year and oh my gosh it's so cute and they have a lot of stuff and a lot of people that do December daily use them so I was like this is really pretty so I was like what a heck let's do it let's get a couple things Okay, just uh, yeet this over here. Okay, so wow, this is nice. Um, so first things first, this comes like so fancy. Okay, so first things first, I got an album. Oh, should I haul this with like December daily stuff? I feel like I'm already here. I'll double haul it. I'll show it now because I'm already here, and then I'll like I'll rehaul it with my December daily stuff as like I already showed it, but in case you didn't watch. Okay. So, wow, this is nice. Okay. This is, like, quality. Okay. I should open this fire, huh? That's intense. Ah, it's so pretty. Okay. Wow, this is nice. Okay. Wow. All right, this is nice. I thought it would be cool. So this is an album and for some reason I didn't think it would be like faux PU leather but like it is and it's beautiful. It has gold hardware. I love this grid. I love like it looks very like modern farmhouse-y Christmas and then you have your gold rings which are D-rings which are amazing and they're really pretty. Oh wow this is like honestly way better than I thought it would be. Like not that I thought it was gonna be like trash or anything but like it's way way better high quality than I expected. My nails chipped. And then I did pick up some of the chipboard numbers. So you can kind of see them there in black. And then I also did get, which you can see actually, oh uh, no, they don't have them on the back, but they're just like thick numbers. And they are like 
all the way to 31 so like kind of with the assumption you're using them for like December daily or something like that so they're not like three in one you have to put them together and then there's this one here which is like really skinny letters and some numbers as well and then I also got these which are puffy alphabet stickers and I really like them because they were hecka modern and I really think this is a pretty pretty cute little selection here and then I did also get some page protectors I don't know what I did here mm, I thought I got like a combo pack but this looks like they're all the same unless I'm just Yeah, they look all the same. Oh, no, 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 they're not. Wait, no, they're not. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. So there's some that are like, you know, the half, and then there's some that are, you know, two, and then four. So that's cool. So, wow, I'm like very impressed. So I might have to go back on the website and see if there's anything else I want to pick up because like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I'll leave them linked down below. This is also really pretty. I would definitely use that. Um, but this is beautiful. But so you guys know that I'm going to be doing some kind of like Denver, Denver, December daily supply haul. I have a bunch of other stuff. Um, and then maybe I'll even do a December daily flip through and just kind of like cover faces and things like that. Um, and any like stuff I want to cover up. Let me know if that's something you're interested in as well. I'll also ask probably in the actual haul. I have a huge box of stuff for that and I'm very excited. Hopefully I do it this year. I've been meaning to do it for two years now and I have failed. So there's that and yeah. So I have another haul bit. I have a bunch of stuff here to show you guys. Um, so I do have some stuff from Fat Fantasy Wax Melts and I have both an order I placed and then also Kirsten so kindly gifted me the very merry collection and I am so excited. I did already haul this one on Instagram but I figured maybe you didn't see it. It was a busy holiday weekend so let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know like you should definitely follow Fantasy Wax on Instagram to see if they're like restocking this as far as like individual scents if they have any or what. Um, I know that they sold one of these okay so it's so pretty very merry collection so first things first is you did get a sticker so you either got this white wax melt or a black wax melt and i just thought this looked really cute with like their black friday um uh, their Black Friday graphics. I thought this would be like a fun freebie versus like a label or something like that. And this had four scents in it, all of them holiday theme. I love the colors. It's very festive. The first one here is called Snow on Main Street. And this is probably the most powerful one out of all of them. Like when you open the bag, you smell this one first and it is a really nice peppermint and candy cane kind of scent. The next one here is Hot chocolate stroll which is hot cocoa scented and it smells so good it has that like hot chocolate kind of like cocoa powder smell and I don't know about you guys but I love whenever makeup smells like that like um what company does that is it is it Too Faced does like chocolate bronzers I think I don't know but they smell so good um this one is once upon a Christmas which is pine and cardamom which this one's probably my favorite because you guys know I love Christmas tree scents and then I also have gingerbread man which is ginger nutmeg and cinnamon which are some of my favorite scents individually and all together this is a holiday baking dream and then I have some individual scents that I purchased I think they did this as like a restock so these are permanent scents and then this is a scent that I don't remember I think it was like they had they found a couple of extras and listed them but whenever I got this bundle this was from the like Halloween Disney bundle I would like like this scent but I didn't know like how much I liked it until I warmed it honestly I'm gonna like just say this right now and it might sound biased because you think like oh like I love Kirsten she's like family basically but I feel like Kirsten's wax melts are like the best they smell for forever like anybody in the comments want to like agree because I feel like sometimes I like 
and I text Kirsten about it too. I'll be like, oh my gosh, we put in the boyfriend one or whatever and it smells so good. Nick loves it. And I'll like, you know, five days later and we melt them like every night for probably about 12 hours. Well, nine to 12 hours. And like five days later, I'll be like, when did I text Kirsten about this? Because it still stinking smells. And it's been like five, six, seven days melting at 12 hours, which is nuts. So this one is Spectacular and it's mold cider. And this was my favorite one I ever warmed. It smells so good. It almost reminds me of like some kind of candy I've had before. I don't even get like mold cider from it. It's like a, it's definitely like a candy I've had in my past, like a candy scent. So I did get two of those. And then I also got two of the sweet almond because this is like my favorite scent. This was like kind of like modeled after me with the, the pink and the gold sparkles. And I love almond. It's my favorite scent. I think. I'm pretty sure almonds are here scent. And then this is another one that I really loved the scent of. Um, Kirsten was like, smell this whenever I was at work. And then when I warmed it, it just smells like literally Johnson & Johnson's Lavender Baby Wash, which I use that in the bathtub if I'm like not feeling like doing a whole lush bath bomb situation. I have a bottle of the baby bath stuff and it smells exactly like this. And whenever it melted, it smelled so good. So I picked up some extras of those. I do have some orders in from um, Wish Upon Magic. So I did buy more of their sun catchers and I haven't put these anywhere, but they're so pretty. And I know that like, you know, eventually they probably will sell out if they haven't sold out already. And I don't not want to have them. And I love this one with the castle. I also did get like their little freebie vinyl, which I have so many of these now. And then there's also this one here, which is, I believe on clear and it is a Mickey wreath, which is so cute. Sorry if you could hear Theo in the background. Honestly, like I feel like with one kid, I was like, yeah, it's a little hard to find time to film, but with two kids, like this is just the way that it's gonna be. You're gonna hear kids in the background. My office is in my home and it's not like anybody's ever complained, but I was just like felt bad, but you know, you can't do anything about it. So then I have an order in from Letters to Apollo, which like I said last time, I love this envelope. It is so cute. And I believe this was a $2 holla, a $2 holler. I don't know. Anyways. Um, and I picked up some of these. Um, I think they were like Christmas scripts. I don't remember buying all of them, but like maybe I was like Christmas makes sense. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so first things first is I got, let's see. Oh, there was a lot of them. And I think I actually, I guess I was selective in which ones I picked to buy all three. So I'm proud of myself. But let's see, what did I do? So let's go through these first. So I think I got these in all three foils. So let me go through the silver because it's the easiest to see. So I got decorate, wrap gifts, decorate, wrap gifts, gift shopping. Yeah, and then I got those in black and then I also got big holiday goodies in black there was probably a, a rhyme or reason to the way I ordered I just don't remember and then I also got this quote box overlay which has the nutcrackers but I really loved the Merry Christmas I thought that was really really beautiful so I went ahead and picked this up recently whenever it comes to quote box overlays I've been just kind of buying like I'll just kind of eeny meeny miny mo which foil um you know or unless it's like you know I don't know, like, I know like the foil I'm going to use or I'm like, oh, I'm definitely not gonna use any hollow this Christmas. I'm not gonna buy any hollow Christmas stuff, but I'll kind of like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, And then like once this like matches the foil color in a kit that I'm using, I just go ahead and pop it in. So that is everything from Letters to Apollo. And last but certainly not least, I'm so excited. I have my order from Planner Press and I really love their dividers. I use them in, this is the little journal card. I use them in my script storage and I think they're really well made and they're like thin, but not too thin, but thick, but not too thick. Does that make any sense? So, you know, that whole, like, you know, you get free shipping. Oh, I did. Did I get an extra one of these? Wow. Oh, well, there's a bunch of them. Maybe you're just, maybe I, that's like a thing you're supposed to get. I don't know. Maybe I ordered extra. I don't remember. Anyways, so it was like if you ordered X, you got free shipping. And basically it was like if I paid for shipping, it would be like an extra $2 to get another set of dividers. Does that make sense? So like if I paid for the shipping, it would have been $2 less than if I would have gotten free shipping in both of these. I think that's what it was because that's sometimes like my math on things. I'm just like, well, just buy the product then. So I did get the pocket 
um, dividers and are these dividers the dashboards tabs I don't even know but I got them they have all the sizes basically and then like three different like frosts I think I just get like the crystal clear or something like that but these are for my pocket planner I love my pocket planner so much I use her every single day for probably like three months now and I am just obsessed eventually I do want to do like a pocket tour um, but like once I've lived in her a little bit long so that is everything for this little hobbit okay so I'm just filming this real quick I didn't even like literally take my like airpods out of my ears I am just filming this because I'm like it's like kind of quiet right now um, and I'm cleaning off my desk and this is kind of a honking like pile of stuff so let's go through it real quick I did already haul this on Instagram and I think I like in another clip hauled the rest of the stuff but I had this all like with the lid on it which I'm actually going to store these prints in this till I like get my life together um but I like already hauled it there but I'm gonna haul it again because you know maybe you didn't see it so let's go through this order from Paper Shire so I placed an order I think it was like some kind of sale or something I don't remember but there was new releases so there was three freebies I got so there's an all orders freebie a 50 or sorry 30 pound orders freebie and then a 15 pound order freebies I normally don't really use these ones but they are very like generous freebie sizes I also got these extra large festive food doodles doodle doodle sampler and I thought these were really cute and had like a little selection of everything and I'll just put these into my holiday little container and then I also did get a bunch of actually I don't even know if these are new releases I might have just looked and been like I don't have this one let's order it or maybe they were new releases I honestly don't remember so there's haircut I got the like hairdresser with gray hair because like I don't have like a hair person that I go to that I could specifically like pick person I just like get my hair cut and then a uh, passport for one day when I can fly um Halloween movies counseling donation um lo-fi is I say or lofi I don't even know studies Harvey Garethy in the background mask vaccination besties besties again I got them in like all of my friends hair colors and then also sick there was a big thank you journaling card and then there's also this little postcard which is cute I like the like jagged edge that's really cool and different so that is my order from paper shire and then I also have a mega order in from odd loop so odd loop released this destinations art and honestly I was dead so dead so I had to pick up some sticker sheets and then I picked up I think this is kind of my normal combo for like using it probably in my regular planner and then like if I want to use it in my regular planner or if I want to use it in like a different planner I have like options and if I want to use it two times I also have that option because I just feel like odd loops art is like next level the greatest and I love the weekend banner so I get this sheet and then I love the bottom washi so I get this sheet so that is the odd loop destinations kit I just think it's so pretty each of these full boxes is like next level and I am obsessed so that's the kit and then um, they came out with vinyl stickers and art prints um, and I think that there's more stickers back here yeah so I'll go through what I bought so I did purchase three of the postal bear sheets and I'm going to give one of these to Bennett because he's going to love that I also did get the smaller, smallest art print of the Sleeping Beauty Castle because, you know, maybe that'd be cute in a pocket or something. And then I also did get the medium size Sleeping Beauty Castle. You know, you need that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see all this stuff. Um, I also did get all of the Destinations vinyls because, like, obviously had to. I'm going to go ahead and flip through them. I didn't get all of the Destination um art prints I just picked nine because I want to do like a gallery wall eventually um, I think I want to do a like magical themed guest room and I think that'd be really cute or I might put it in like a different office I don't know so these are all so stinking cute I love them I think they're so pretty I love the colors because I feel like they match the location but aren't like wild um, cause I feel like sometimes like the more tropical colors could go a little crazy. And then I did, like I said, pick up my favorite nine 
prints. Let me see how far I can zoom you out. My favorite nine prints in the largest size, which I don't remember the size of this, honestly, but it is like a standard frame size. So I did pick, like I said, my favorite nine to do a gallery wall eventually. This one's probably my favorite. I feel like the colors, like, it's almost like you can't even really see in, like, video or picture how, like, rich they are. You have to see them in person. But these are so pretty. So, yeah, I picked my favorite nine. Might go back and get the other ones eventually. Um, but, and I got two of these. I think I did. I don't know. Maybe? Probably. But, yeah. Um, maybe I would put one in that gallery wall and then I do one somewhere else. So needed to be prepared. So that is everything that I got in this little portion of the haul. So, yeah. Okay. So first things first, I'm sorry if you can hear kids in the background, it's like really hard whenever you have like two under, well, like a three-year-old and a year. That's Theo. He has opinions now to like find a time that everyone's quiet. And then also by the time that they're like asleep. I'm tired. It's a thing. So let's go ahead and get into this haul bit. This honestly might be the last haul bit in this like video because there's quite a bit here. I'm going to try and like organize it kind of by shop. I have a lot of stuff from Aura Estelle that Tiki sent over and then I have some orders I've placed, some like random things, um, some wax melts. I also have a bunch of advent calendars but I think I'm going to put those up like all together, maybe like on the 25th or something, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. And that would, I think, would be like a fun video, like opening all my advent calendars. Plus, I think I have one that might not be here yet. I'm not sure. I feel like I was like, had a really like fun, like idea of like buying like a ton of advent calendars, but then I honestly forgot. So first things first is I did get some of these Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette nails and Kenneth Chess has been talking about these all the time so I ordered them from Sally's because they had like these Halloween ones that are discontinued I probably won't use these till next year but I really love Ahura Ahura nails I don't know okay. so I have a bunch of them but I feel like they really lack on like holiday designs and things like that like fun you know cutesy designs but I don't think that these are going to be like uh like a replacement like I don't think that I would use these like all year round because I do like how like thick these are they like protect my nail because I feel like my nail beds are like just really like no my nails are just really sad but we will see because apparently these are amazing but they had so many really cute like Christmas designs so I figured what a heck let's just go ahead and do it so these are like little toppers that you can put on like any of them I guess or I don't know there's just really cute little designs in it and then there's this one which is very like Santa vibes and then this one was just kind of like a I couldn't pass it up because it was like pink and leopard and then this one's like kind of like a classier Christmas with the wreaths and like darker colors and you got like a classic like nude snowflake winter and then this one's kind of like chic I don't know northeastern feeling and then this one is just a discounted Halloween one which I thought was really cute so I picked up those I also got this in from um Wish Upon Magic which I think this might have just been like a like appreciation type thing like uh maybe they sent it out to like people who buy their stickers I don't know or maybe I bought it honestly like I'm not even sure I don't think I did maybe I bought this one I don't know maybe I did buy it but I don't remember this one because it's really pretty but you guys know I order and I think like every haul bit has a new vinyl so I thought this was really cute it says small shop supporter and it was super cute I definitely will keep this because this is adorable so some vinyls you know I do have a small order in from Rose Colored Days. Lauren put out some new vellum sticky notes. I've actually been using these a lot. I um, am using a ultra fine Sharpie for them right now until I like decide to buy another pen because I'm just lazy. Um, so the first thing here is a little business card in rose gold. And then there is this clear sticker freebie with the green that has the... Um, like headers and full box overlay. There is a January journaling card and then there was a freebie little overlay tape in a cute little bag here. It's a very teeny tiny bag. 
um, and it has little hollow bows on it. I don't know if there was like a special running or something, but that is super cute. So I just picked up two of the sticky notes. It's sticky notes. Sticky notes. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but they are the vellum ones, and they are like I think like a gray or a clear, like maybe like a frosted. And then they have this really pretty hollow, I think. Or is it white? Or is it silver? I don't know. But it's like a frost design. It's gonna be really hard to focus. Mm, I feel like you guys have probably seen these. There we go. They're super cute, but I use them all the time to write my checklist on. I think they're super cute. Then this is also from Etsy. I don't remember the shop name, but I did get these two Christmas cards. This one says May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And then this one says All I Want for Christmas is Dat Blank. And I'm going to give that one to Nick. And then um, Viv actually requested in my like messages, my DMs, she slid into my DMs. And actually, I slid into her DMs. Actually, I think I texted her. And she was like, oh my gosh, do you remember this? And I'm going to actually try and do another one of these sticker book challenges. I did, haven't done one in like a hundred years and honestly when I bought this I was like oh it's only five dollars but it's only five dollars because there's four pages of stickers when they usually have like a hundred so I might order a different one and do like a b6 I think spread using them I just feel like there's not a lot of selection in this one but I'll link this one down below and if I end I might end up using it you never know because like maybe that'll be the challenge part then I have I'll go into the simply gilded stuff this is an order from Simply Gilded. It's actually like very big. Um, I feel like Irene stuff has been so good, like so trendy, and I'm loving it. So let me see if my invoice is in here. There's honestly so much stuff. Okay. Um, oh, this is cute. This is going in my pocket planner. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be adorable. So, yeah, I don't think my invoice is in here, which is cool. Or maybe I threw it away already. Oh wow, okay, beautiful. Okay. Going to the washi last. I don't like unroll washi, so it's really not that big of a deal. So first things first is, is I do have the sticker freebie. So this is a really pretty like bluish white. Or maybe it's white. I don't know. And then a sticker freebie, which has like a pumpkin on it. And then I did get the, oh, this is also a freebie too. So this is a freebie. So this is a journaling card that says happy holidays in the gray. We'll see that. And then these are, look like black foiled. Just like, you know, standard black cheetah print. And then I did pick up the little card case. I have one that I use often, but I thought it'd be cute to have something like this, um, just like as a little extra. And I like that it was black with black hardware. I just think that's really fun and super cute. And it just has like the scallops. And I just thought it was really pretty with the little um, D-ring so you could like connect it to like your purse or something. But I thought this was super cute and pretty. And I just love the black on black. Again, I think it's super trendy. And then I also did pick up the journaling card bundle. These are super nice. So there is this one here, which is watercolor. These just remind me of like Jasenia because I feel like Jasenia is just so trendy and cute. So this is going to look so cute in my pocket. Like this, it would be like the cutest little pocket setup if you cut these down to size and they're all in gold, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this one's silver, but I mean, you could do a mixed metal moment. And then there's this one here. And then you got the terrazzo, which you know I love. And then you have the little joy wreath with the birds in the background. And then also, and then like, so like all of these, plus I feel like this one goes right into it. And I'm like, I don't need that many dividers in my pocket, but like, they also look cute on display. Like this one would look beautiful, like on a shelf for the holidays slash winter. Love it. And then I don't remember buying all of this, but... It might have happened. No, I don't know. I never really know what I buy. I just kind of go in and just do it. So I normally give the 10 millimeters to Bennett because I don't really use it. I just like the 15 millimeters for the most part. So these ones are really, really cool. This was like a set. I usually go in and buy the sets because it's just easier than adding like different things to the cart. So these are really cool because they're like white on white, black on black, and pink on pink. I don't know if it's actually... I don't think it's actually like the foil color. I think it's just like a clear that gives it like a gloss, but it looks really cool. And like I said, super trendy, which I love. And then I did pick up this bundle. I think these are all different bundles, which I just really am appreciative of a bundle. I just feel like it's so easy. Um, let's see. So you have the black. Oh no, maybe I don't think that these were, I don't really know what I ordered. TBH. I don't know. So this one here is a black on black bundle, like a little, I don't know, you're going to be hard to see this. 
so it's like the little mini bows so it has big bows sideways bows other bows all the bows there's four different ones and then this one is super cute i'll actually use this one i think these are the same size right yes or maybe like a hair smaller i think they're similar i really like these bows i think they're super cute i think she calls them like the puffy bow and then this one's really cute too i love this like print it's very like i don't know reminds me of like street style or something i love that a really cute like pair of pants and that would be adorable and then you have this cheetah print and then there's this which is like a shattered hollow kind of look on black and then the um what are these called they are lights super cute i wish i would have got the champagne ones i don't remember ordering these though so i don't know but um i remember looking at them and they were the hot gold ones and i think they had released the champagne one gold ones before and I totally missed it but they're so so cute and then I picked up this one which is probably my favorite it's like the terrazzo bundle which y'all know I'm a fan so this has a bunch of stuff so you have these ones which have the 10 millimeter classic bow and then you have the 15 millimeter which has the bow this one has rose gold and then you have regular gold i definitely prefer the regular gold but that's just because i really don't love rose gold and then the line which is super cute i think with the terrazzo because it's a little bit more modern and then the minis of this one has the um mini five millimeter bow and then this one's just kind of like a half terrazzo and half the um, metal color which i think looks really good with the line like i just feel like it's very modern with the terrazzo so i love that so that's everything I got from Simply Gilded. Again, I think Irene's killing it with like super trendy stuff and I am obsessed. Then I have, I'll go into the wax melts last, but I do have a package in from um, Aura Stell and Tiki sent me these over. She's actually doing a release today. So you, I don't know when I'm putting this haul up. I think I have videos for like the next week. So maybe a week after, not like almost Christmas then. Wait a minute, white? Hmm. Did I order white? I don't know. So I know Amanda wanted a B6. I don't remember which one she wanted. If she wanted white or black. But white's really pretty. <gasps> I think I, I don't know. I, but the thing is, is like, I like both of them. So now I feel like whichever one Amanda wanted, I'm going to just request another one. Because like, <gasps> it's so pretty. <gasps> I don't even know. And I don't even know what I want to even use the B6 cloud for. But it's just so cute. And I feel like it's cuter in person. Like when Tiki was sending me. I really don't remember which one Amanda wanted. I should probably text her and ask her before I, like, get obsessed with one. Which cloud B6 did you want? Again, I thought she wanted pink, but I don't remember. Um, anyways, so this is the B6 cloud, and it's just so pretty, especially in person. I think the thing that really does it for me is this cloud pocket, and I kind of want to, like, be like, hey, Tiki, you should switch the regular cloud pocket out to this one because I think it's so cute. It's just like that one little thing that I think just like just takes it up a notch, you know, so cute. So it's just perfect. It has like the adjustable with the two buttons. You have the dual pen loop. You have the secretarial pockets. You have the pockets over here, pocket, pocket. And then you even have the strings, which usually I take those out. But I know some people leave them in. And again, gold hardware is so pretty. And then, like I said, I don't remember which one Amanda wanted. She's going to be using the B6, which you guys should follow her because I think she's going to do YouTube videos um in her b6 cloud next year and she's switching from the a5 wide to the b6 i believe because the a5 wide is just a little bit too big for her she did use b6 last year and really liked it but wanted to try something out new this year so i don't remember if she wanted the black or the white but i kind of want both of them so i'm probably gonna just need another one and i'm gonna find a reason to use these i know i want to use one for i have my my scripts in this older um, or a cell planner and I think it'd be really cute to have it in a cloud um I think the rings are the same size I don't really know I'm not a big knowledgeable person on rings but this is so pretty it's super cute I would assume they're probably going to sell out because everyone's been wanting b6 and if they aren't I'll link them down below but just follow Tiki on the Instagrams. So then she also came out with these super cute little um, dashboards. They're like PU dashboards. And um, yeah, they're so pretty. 
These are for the A5 wide, so it has the blossom pattern, but it's like blossom and cloud, so I feel like it could really work with if you have a blossom planner or a cloud planner. I don't feel like either element of the blossom or the cloud is really like, oh wow, I can't use this in my cloud or I couldn't use this in my blossom. So this did come out in pink, black, and white, and then it also did come in the B6 version in pink, black, and white as well, and they are so cute and such good quality. She also came out with ruler. I told her, like, Tiki rulers. We need them, and especially, like, I told her to do, I don't know which one. I think I told her she needs a white one, too, because a white and a black ruler would be really cool, but a blossom pattern on a ruler would be so cute, so these turned out perfect so they have little todays on top but I feel like if you wanted to you could totally just like trim that off and just have it be you know a regular ruler or you could just leave it because I would and it's so pretty so the um the print is like a matte and then you know the glossy ruler it looks really cool so this one here is a pink blossom and then you do have a black blossom and these are in the a5 wide is, it, is there two different or is there three different sizes I think she sent me two two of the B6 and then two of the A5 wide. And then these come in, I think that this also comes in pocket too, but these are super cute and I think a little bit more modern. And they have the inches on one side and then the centimeters on the other. They are super cute. And then also in the B6 size, she did release the vellums and acetates. Are these all vellum? They're all vellums. So this is the same as the cloud release the same kind of stuff so these are all on vellum and you do get two of each so there's a pink color a more like this is more like of a blue tone pink and this is more of like a warm tone pink and then you have this really pretty like lilac color and then an orange and then also released for the b6 were these vellums amanda wanted the white one okay um, you get four of the white and again you could trim these down for pocket if you wanted and then four of the black and these are really cool because again the print is like a glossy whereas the vellum is matte and I think it gives a cool textural difference and then ooh, oh not last but not least I'm actually going to give you guys I don't know if I'm allowed to but I'm going to give you guys a pocket sneak I don't even I th think this is still a proto no it's not a prototype because they're on order so I'm going to show you anyways. So I do have some inserts for the B6 as well. I think she came out with four different ones. I have a bunch of them here. But the first one here is a monthly. So this is like the connector style. So this is if you want to put the inserts into your weeks. So these are backed by a weekly. So you can just insert your weekly designs in there and then you'd have the month. Does that make sense? So if you want them throughout your weeks, you'd buy this one and then you'd buy the weekly and then just kind of like collate them in. Or she also does sell, oh, I actually don't think she did sell the um, regular um, calendar. So this is the only option, I believe. But honestly, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, this is really cute. So this is just your regular like monthly kind of spread here with a sidebar. I don't think anyone makes sticker kits for this. As of right now, oh my god, I thought for a second that my, um, my, what's it called? Um, I don't know if she usually does some kind of, like, interesting reasoning for, oh, they're one inch by one and a quarter inch. So that means they're two inches tall and two and a quarter wide. It's actually a pretty easy combo. I thought for a second my... Um, mic wasn't on and that's like my worst nightmare is like filming a whole video my mic not being on which has happened one time so um then you have your weekly which I actually I won't even open this because you can see what the weekly looks like right here so it would just come um you know back to back weeklies and it does fit sticker kits I have plan and B6s before I actually by the time this haul goes up I will have a plan with me using the print impression spiral B6 which is a similar format most of the like sticker version ones are um, you have the dot grid and then also the lined I really love this combo color of the paper like thing then I'm gonna show you guys the pocket which I'm like obsessed with because I use my pocket all the time and I'm so excited to have a little pocket cloud I should have known that I requested a black B6 because I got the black pocket so this is so uh, cute i love it it's so teeny tiny especially compared to like my honker let me zoom you up a little bit hey 
He's so cute. And then the B6. They're the perfect little family. I love them so much. So this is the Pocket Cloud. She's so cute and little. So both the regular clouds, this is the one that I use and abuse, and then this one is the, um, the B6 have the little heart, and then the Pocket has, I actually really like it. It looks like a little, like, vintage button almost. Like, this looks like something that I'd see on, like, a vintage cardigan or something like that. So this one does also have the adjustable button, which is really cute. You have a zipper on the side if you wanted to use this more, like, a wallet you could put stuff in there and then you do have like the card slot style pockets here with two pockets and then you have a single pen loop you have these d rings if you wanted to put it on a chain um i would probably use these for charms on this one and then just leave this one blank or maybe even put a charm this way and then you do have um a pocket in the back if you want to put anything in there i feel like the ring size is pretty good it'll be able to fit a lot of stuff and i am just so excited because i think this is so stinking cute and i am going to move into it asap because like come on it's adorable so that's everything for the planners i do have some wax melts in which i'm just obsessed with wax melts. i feel like i like i have moments of clarity where i'm kind of like um I'm kind of like, I really need to like cut down a little bit on the wax melts and then I like see somebody release something and I'm like, well, maybe tomorrow I will. And it just, it's just like a, it's a thing. So first things first is there, this is from a new shop to me and I did haul this on Instagram already. So this is from Honey Soda Co. And I think that their branding's really, really cute. I like all of their, like, packaging and labels. Like, obviously, like, the packaging's kind of, like, everyone uses the same thing. But I really like the labels and, like, just these little, like, touches. I don't know. I'm, like, obsessed. So, first things first is there was two samples in here. This one's called Patisserie. I think that's what you call it. And it smells so good. It's coming out soon. And it smells like pistachio macarons, amaretto butter cookies, and Mars pan which are like all of my favorite things. Smells so good. And then this one is Oh Fudge, which I actually do have a full size of. When I hauled it on Instagram, they were like, oh, sorry, we gave you a, a double, like a freebie that you had. And I'm like, I don't care. I love these for, um, for plugins. They're like the perfect size. And then everyone always asks me, like, do you cut these? I normally don't. I feel like if you wanted to like switch it out often you could but what how I like to like live my wax melt life is put in one of these and then just let it go until it doesn't smell like anything anymore but I feel like there's definitely like a lot of people who like to just cut them and then I feel like you use it for a little bit less because there's less wax less oil less to burn um so it kind of just depends and I just feel like cutting them is just like another step to the process where I'm like fine with like if I go into my room every night for a week and it smells the same I'm not like bothered by it so this one here is called tinsel this was like a i think like a retro christmas drop or something and all of these smell so good and i feel like they're a little bit different like there's some that smell like kind of more classic but like i don't i feel like they all have like something different about them which i like toasted pine cones spearmint eucalyptus eucalyp eucalyptus and vanilla bean noel this smells so good and it's called tinsel i love it and then this one's called ice foley's and this is lemon ver Verbena, I can't read, Fresh Mint, Magnolia, and Peony. Again, this is a really good one. This one smells like very florally, but I do really like it. This one's Mid-Century Christmas, Peppermint Sticks, Pink Sugar, and Creamy Vanilla. This is one of my favorites. It just smells so good because it smells like a, like a perfume version of like a vanilla peppermint, but not in like a hecka peppermint smell, more on the vanilla with a hint of peppermint. This one's called Ski Sweater, which is Sweater Weather, Cedar, cashmere and vanilla chestnut it smells so good it's definitely like warm and a little bit more like woodsy manny kind of vibes which i like and this one is the same as that sample which is oh fudge which is chocolate fudge walnuts and toasted marshmallows which smells really good it definitely has a little bit of that artificial chocolate smell but i'm kind of just like getting used to it department store santa peppermint mocha which again i love this one as well because I feel like this one has a little bit less of the artificial chocolate and more of like a true cocoa powder smell with that hint of um, peppermint, which is really good. And then this one's Christmas Morning, Christmas Tree, Warm Spice, Warm Spice, and Oak Mold Cider. This one's so good. It smells almost like one of those like potpourri packs, but like 
the like cinnamon stick ones with like the bark in it that actually smells good with a little bit of the um like evergreen pine smell it's a really good like mature scent I really like that one the naughty list which is cranberry apple marmalade black tea and charcoal tonka this one's good this one's a little bit lighter on like the powerfulness of it but I think that it will warm well and then ginger snap cider gingerbread icing mulled cider and chestnuts this one's really good I feel like I'm smelling hmm, a lot of the gingerbread but like in a not super sweet way like I don't smell the icing part but I think it's like a cedar gingerbread because it smells less like sweet and more like smoky kind of like woodsy. So love those. And that is everything for this haul bit. Definitely out of breath, but I wanted to show you guys all this stuff so that I could put it all away. Give that planner to Amanda. And yeah, so I'll leave everybody linked down below.